In this video, I'll walk through an example of taking an integral using a trigonometric substitution. So let's first talk about some of those forms that you'll see where you would use a trigonometric substitution. If you see the square root of b squared x squared minus a squared, where b and a are constants, that might conjure up ideas of this identity where secant squared theta minus 1 is the same as tangent squared of theta. And we would like that. We would like it to just be tangent squared of theta because then we would take the square root of that and uh, and we'd end up with just a uh, tangent of theta, and that simplifies things. So if we see this, this form, we'll say, we'll let x equal to a over b times secant of theta. On the other hand, if we see the form square root of a squared minus b squared x squared, so a reverse of that subtraction, then you can think of this identity, 1 minus sine squared of theta equals cosine squared of theta. And in that case, we'll let x equal a over b times sine of theta. And the last form I'll talk about here is the form, what if we have the square root of b squared x squared plus a squared? So a, a, an addition under the radical. Then that might bring up ideas of this identity. Tangent squared of theta plus 1 is the same as secant squared of theta. And that would be good. Then we would be able to simplify things. So if we had this form, we would let x equal to a over b times tangent of theta. Okay, we see this form. We see the, the first form here, and we see that a equals 3, because 3 squared is 9, and then b is 2, because 2 squared is 4. So I could write that as 2 squared times x squared minus 3 squared. So let's look at this part right here. Well, I'm going to let x equal a over b, so that's 3 over 2 secant of theta. As promised, this is what we used. Then, if I were to rewrite this square root of 4x squared minus 9, let's write that, the square root of 4 times x squared, and I'll put a big parenthesis here, minus 9. And in red, I'll write in what we're going to substitute. That's 3 over 2 secant of theta. And let's just switch back to blue because this is the, the form. This whole thing is being squared. Then what do we get? Well, we get the square root of 4 times 9 over 4 times secant squared of theta minus 9. And it's the square root of that whole thing. So the 4 is canceled. This is looking pretty good for us. The 4 is canceled, and we are left with the square root of 9 secant squared theta minus 9. And that looks pretty good because we can factor out a, a 9. So square root of 9 times the square root of secant squared theta minus 1. Ha ha, we got to it. We got exactly what we wanted. We wanted this. And so therefore we can write tangent squared of theta. So let's do it. Let's write this equals 3. The square root of 9 is 3 times the square root of tangent squared of theta. So in the end, we say that equals 3 times, well, the square root of tangent squared is just tangent, so 3 times tangent theta. Ah, we got it. So we can put that in right here. But before I do, 
I'm going to put that in. All uh, right, I'll put it in yellow so we can see what we are replacing. Uh, this whole thing, 4x squared minus, the square root of 4x squared minus 9 equals 3 tangent theta. There's a few more things I want to clean up. How about this x? Well, if x equals, uh, if x equals 3 over 2 secant of theta, then dx, what we want to replace right here, dx equals 3 over 2 secant theta tangent theta. And that's just... Um, that's just the, the derivative, and it's d theta there, just the derivative of 3 halves secant theta. Okay, so we've got something to replace uh, dx with, and we also have something to replace x with right here. So in red, right there. So I'm going to color code this just at first, just so we can see what's going on. The integral, the integral of... 3 tangent theta, we'll put that in yellow because that's what we are replacing right here. So 3 tangent theta over, over x. And x I promised I would put in red. That's 3 halves secant theta because that's what we let x equal to over here. And then times, I want to write that 3 a little bit better, and then times in green dx, which we said equals 3 halves secant theta tangent theta d theta. All right, we've got a, an integral in all in terms of theta, d theta. So let's start working with this. Let's cancel out. Let's cross out the three halves off the numerator and denominator. Done. Now, how about a secant theta? Got it. Taken care of. Now we're left with three tangent squared. Tangent theta times tangent theta. So, this is the integral of three tangent squared theta d theta and rock and roll the um, the integral of tangent squared theta. We're not going to do that directly because we can rewrite that as 3 times. I'm going to move the 3 times outside. That's 3 outside the integral, 3 times. Now we've got this identity back to secant squared theta minus 1 d theta. And the, this integral then is 3 times tangent theta minus theta. And then, of course, plus our constant of integration. Now we have to plug in for theta. Ah, all right. We're almost there, I promise. Let's move this screen down just a little bit so I have a little more room to work with. Here we go. Tangent theta. Well, if uh, we know that secant theta is... 2x over 3. I'm going to manipulate this right here. This. I'm going to say secant theta, which is the same as 1 over cosine of theta. 1 over cosine of theta equals 2x over 3. And I've just taken this and solved algebraically for secant theta. Well, then that means that cosine of theta equals 3 over 2x. Okay, hang with me. We've got a triangle then. A triangle where theta angle is right there. And we are being told that cosine of, of theta is 3 adjacent over hypotenuse 2x, which would tell us that this opposite side length is the square root of 4x squared minus 9. Well, boy, doesn't that look familiar? That's from the, the beginning of our problem over there. So we then can say what tangent of theta is. We can say that tangent of theta, well, we can just write it. Right? We, we know exactly it's, it's uh, opposite over adjacent. So that's the square root of 4x squared minus 9 all over 
3. So that's tangent of theta. And we also can say what theta is. I'm running out of room here, so I'm going to use this little block right here. Uh, theta would be the inverse cosine right here. Uh, so if we have cosine equaling 3 over 2x, then theta would equal the inverse cosine of 3 over 2x. So now we can plug everything in. We have a theta to plug in, and we have a tangent of theta to plug in. And that's what we need right here. So I'm going to switch colors and write 3 times tangent of theta was the square root of 4x squared minus 9 all over 3 and minus then our theta, which is the inverse cosine of 3 over 2x plus our constant of integration there. Uh, multiply through this 3 and we get as our final answer the square root of 4x squared minus 9 minus 3 times the inverse cosine of 3 over 2x plus our constant of integration, c. And this is our final answer.